Welcome back. Let's wrap up this module by looking at some different ways that we can analyze the success or not success of an investment center. If you remember, an investment center is responsible for revenue, expenses, and the way they use the assets that have been invested, um, specifically the return on the investment and some other things we're going to look at. So let's hop to it. Okay. So here we have, um, basically I've brought over the information that we just calculated during allocations for our three departments in our shoe store, boots, sandals, and athletic. And now we are going to pretend that each of these departments is an investment center. They have some sort of investments associated with them. Okay, so there are four ratios we're gonna look at. The first is return on investment. And that's going to be investment center income divided by investment center average invested assets. And that basically tells us how much are we making off our assets? Um, what's our, when we look at net income compared to what we invested to get that net income, how well are we doing? Um, and that's important, right? Because if we have to decide between two projects and maybe one requires an investment of a million dollars and one requires an investment of ten million dollars um, then if we're only looking at net income that really doesn't tell us how we're doing compared to what we had to invest to make that net income so that's what these are going to help us to look at um, residual income is going to be the investment center income minus the target investment center income so here I've provided you with target return on investment and it basically tells us um, how much should we exceed that by or not exceed it by okay so if we have a positive number then we've um exceeded it by we've exceeded our target roi and otherwise we have not profit margin we've looked at profit margin before it just tells us you know what percentage of each sales dollar is turning into profit or net income um investment turnover which is investment center sales divided by investment center average assets um, and that really is just telling us how often are we making back our investment. So if our investment turnover is five in one year, that means we've made back our investment five times. If it's um, 0.2, it means in one year we've made up 20% of our investment. Okay. And then I'm going to show you a second way to do return on investment or ROI. We can calculate it two ways. So I'm going to do it for boots. And then I'm going to let you guys do it for sandals and athletic. And when you're done, that way you can make sure you understand what I'm talking about. And when you're done, you can go back and check your answers against the other key. Okay, so ROI first way. That's the investment center income divided by investment center average assets. And I've also provided you with average invested assets. If this were real life, you would have to go to your accountants and get this information, which you could do. Um, but I've given it to you, so that's going to make our lives a lot easier. So we're going to take our investment center income, which is our net income, which is 80000 and we're going to divide it by our average invested assets. And we're going to find out that we got a return on investment of 8%. Now, if you look, you can see our target OR, ROI is 5%. So our boots manager is in pretty good shape to get a bonus this year because he or she has invest has exceeded their target return on investment. Management wanted them to get 5%, they got 8%, that's pretty rocket. All right, so let's see by how much they exceeded it. So a residual income is gonna be our investment center income minus our target investment center income. So our investment center income was 80, uh, $80,000 minus our target investment center income. So our target investment center income was our average invested assets times our target ROI. And that tells us that our residual income is 30,000, meaning we only needed 50,000 or 80,000 minus 30,000 to hit our target ROI. We actually made 80, 
we needed 50, we made 80, so we made an extra 30,000 more than what um, we were told that we needed to do to keep our job, make our bonus, whatever, to make this worthwhile for the company. Our profit margin is just going to be our investment center income, which is net income divided by our sales. So you guys know this one. Pick our net income divided by our sales. So the boots department is making a <coughs> um, uh, profit margin of 32%. So for every dollar that they someone spends on a pair of boots, $32 is profit. That's pretty good. Um, all right, so then our investment turnover is, let me see, investment center sales divided by investment center average assets. So our sales were 250 divided by our average assets of a, of a million for 25%. That means that in this first year, we recouped 25% of our investment in our sales. Now, this isn't looking at profit, so it's not like we've made back a quarter of the investment or 25% of the investment, but our sales did cover 25% of that investment. And then ROI, the second way, is taking our profit margin times our investment turnover. I'm going to take my profit margin of 32% times my investment turnover, and that gives me 8%, which is the exact same as how I um, calculated it the first way. So you want to make sure ROI first way and ROI second way are the same. All right. Why don't you go do it for sandals and athletic? Um, sandals, is you're going to end up with some negative numbers, and that's okay um, because we had a negative net income or a net loss for sandals. Um, but go ahead and give it a try. Compare it to the answer key. If you have any questions, let me go back so you can see my face. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or come to office hours. I would love to see you Thursdays at 1 um, on Zoom. All right, so I will see you guys then. Have a great week.